up guys, Steven here and welcome to another episode of Teardown Tuesday. So today we have here a broken Chinese outdoor phone. I did a review on this unit so you can check it out on my channel. It's called the Daichur Outdoor Phone or something like that. And there are many, many of those outdoor phones with different names or different brands, but they're actually almost the same. And today I want to show you how they look from the inside and what the problems are with those phones. So let's get directly started. So ladies and gentlemen, here's the smartphone. And yeah, they are really quite robust. So I have a durability test on my channel. You can check it out. They're waterproof. They have IP68 specification. And yeah, they're different brands. So just like cat phones, you have to unscrew the back cover here. There's a seal inside. So they're dustproof, waterproof, and they have some massive glass to protect the display. Anyway, with this particular model, there is something wrong, and this is the USB port. Now it's here at the bottom of this device, and if you check this out, so if you look here to the inside, not really sure if the camera can focus, but basically all the contacts are missing. So as you can see, the USB port is really um, far on the inside, so the cable has a very, very long connector. And if you plug this in, and some people do it also the other way, then somehow the person who used the smartphone broke the USB port. And um, I gave it to a friend, so he somehow broke the USB port, and this is why we take it apart, because I'm going to solder a new USB port onto the bottom PCB. Okay, guys, this is how it looks like, so you can find a review on my channel, and those outer phones have pretty low specs, also this one here, quite crappy camera and all that, but still, um, for outdoor work, if you work on a construction site or in, in the forest or something like that, then those phones are really great because you don't take a 900 euro iPhone to your work where you can easily damage it. All right, first of all, um, as also with cat phones, so they have here some screws and there's some tool provided to unscrew the screws. So you have to be really careful with them. Do not over tighten them. They can, the threads are made out of some pretty crappy material and yeah, you can um, over tighten them really fast and destroy the thread. So I will quickly unscrew the screws here and get them out and then we can actually lift off the back cover and have a look at the internal battery. So just give me a second. So yeah, here you can see it over tightened and yeah, we did um, break the screw. So a part of the screw is still here in the thread and yeah, that thread is still okay, but not the best quality at all. Now this is how it looks from the inside. So here we have the lithium ion battery. So let's quickly get it out. And this is actually a quite huge battery. So for the chipset and the size of the display, you get a pretty good battery lifetime on them too. So 3,200 milliamp hours, and you see it's a huge and massive battery. Now let's have a look here at the back cover. As I've told you, those things have IP68 specification. This is why you have a seal here. And yeah, they are really waterproof, so I've tested them. And you just have to make sure that the seal fits perfectly in place, then there is really no problem with the back cover. Okay, now here from the inside, as you can see, it's a dual SIM phone. So we have your SIM card slot 2, we have your SIM card slot 1, and we even have a micro SD card slot. So this is something which is pretty cool. That's a DG1, and something which is also really crazy about that smartphone. It can be used as a walkie-talkie. So, um, yeah, somewhere there must be the antenna connector. So, yeah, it's here at the top, and there's another flap, and there's a thread inside, so you can screw in the antenna. And just imagine that um, Flo wanted to take it to the club and just, yeah, get it out of the suit and... It's, yeah, it looks just freaky if you um, put out such a smartphone uh, in, in the club, for instance. All right, but that's it. Um, I will quickly now separate the case parts. So as you can see, there are some torque screws all along the frame. So um, I have to get the correct screwdriver. I'll just quickly unscrew the screws, and then we can lift off here the top plate and the bottom plate. So guys, there we go now. Um, yeah, all the screws are actually removed. Uh, they're still here in place, but unscrewed. And now let's lift off here the bottom, so the back plate, and there we go. So this is how it looks from the inside. Oh, I have to be really careful because it looks like um, the speaker here is soldered to the main board. But well, as you can see here from the inside, this looks pretty cool. So there's also here a seal inside, so all along the screws which um, basically seals both case parts and makes sure that this case and the motherboard is protected um, from water and dust entry. All right, so this is how it looks from the inside. So actually, I want to check out now the speaker and get it out of the case here. So I will quickly do it off camera because I'm really afraid that I will kill the speaker. So this is how the plastic cover looks from the inside where the speaker is seated. So here you can see it. It has some kind of membrane here. Then here's something where the speaker was actually fixed with. So it looks like tape. 
And the speaker itself, it also has some plastic thing on the inside, so probably some membrane too. I'm not really sure, but yeah, um, this one seems to be waterproof too. At least in my tests, it really was waterproof. And yeah, this is how it looks here from the inside. All right, guys, so now let's have a look at the motherboard. So, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. As you can see, a really huge motherboard for such an outdoor phone. Um, everything probably on one side of the motherboard and on the other side nothing, not really sure. But, well, um, we have here the USB port, which is broken, obviously. Um, you can actually see through the USB port. There are no contacts anymore inside. Not really sure how the person managed to do that, but... <laughs> That's totally fucked up. All right, so here are the internals of the USB port. So I just found them. Here are the contacts. So it's totally raped, and I have to solder in a new USB port. But that shouldn't be a problem. But I'll probably do it in the next video, so I can get my um, soldering station. Okay, we have the battery contacts. We have here the IF shields, which I won't open up because I want to um, still um, have a working phone, and everything should be as stock as possible. Um, here at the top, we have the camera module. And we have here the LED flash, which is here kind of big, so it looks really massive actually. Then there's some huge, um, yeah, plastic block, and I guess that's somehow for, um, yeah, the walkie talkie function. So I don't want to completely take this apart, but basically the antenna is here, so you can see here some kind of golden contact, that's here for the antenna, and here's the speaker, so the speaker's actually in there. All the buttons, as you can see, so here, for instance, are some buttons, just normal buttons, you can see, then there is some, yeah, some rubber seal, so silicone or something, then um, on the outside, there's another seal, and um, the plastic hard button. So this is how such an outdoor phone looks from the inside, and yeah, pretty cool, actually. And yeah, here you can see the display, I won't take this apart because, as I've told you, um, I still want to fix this phone. And in the next part of this video, um, I will show you how to replace a broken USB port. So we now found the issue why this phone is broken. Actually, the USB port broke down, and this is a common problem with some of those outdoor phones because, yeah, um, the USB ports are really kind of crappy, and you have to always use the correct USB cable which comes with the smartphone and be careful with the port, otherwise you're going to kill it. Okay, that was a quick video here on Teardown Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the inside of the Diger DG1 or DG2. If you're interested in those outdoor phones, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Check out China Devices, so um, we'll bring you more stuff um, there soon. And those are some tutorials about hardware replacements. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day, and bye-bye. See you soon.